Hey, welcome to Monster Bash. You've probably gotten here from one of my friend's videos, but just in case, here's how you can play along at home. Step one, print and cut out all 320 cards. And be sure to do this an hour before Trent makes a random card generator. For bonus points, Get lots of footage of you cutting out all those cards, just to use this snappy transition instead. Next, get your friends together and let chaos ensue. Articulate with your hands. You want to do seven? Okay, we're doing seven. We'll do seven. Yes! Yeah. Do seven. seven? Raquel's idea was that we would all choose the same number, as long as she picks the number. Okay, so is everyone ready? Three, two, one, go! It's oh. a butt! I got a butt! <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the butt? Oh, yes! yes. The butt. Set, two. Set two. Look at all the amazing art your friends have drawn. Have a panic attack at the fact that you have to take this beautiful work and destroy it with your own personal brand of messed up cosmic horror. Stare mindlessly into the void until it reaches with its icy cold grasp and pulls you in. And now you're ready to start crafting. Cool. Cool. Okay. That's it. See you on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, everyone. See you out there, team. <laughs> Bye. 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 Good luck, everybody. Bye. Wait to see, see what everyone Bye. makes. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Step three. After several attempts at combining all the cards into a cohesive mass, I finally had an idea of what I wanted. I had to constantly remind myself to not use the cards as a strict set of rules, but rather just inspiration for what I wanted to make. Or, as Raquel would put it, Just, it's fast and loose. Do whatever you want. It's art, baby. So now, with a sketch to help guide me in the right direction, we can finally move on to step four. All of my sculpting armatures usually start off with tinfoil. This just keeps things cheap and cheerful. Using my old favorite, original Sculpey, I made the body much thicker than I normally would, making sure that it would be nice and strong and give this thing a really good feeling of weight. I'm honestly just lumping clay wherever I see fit, just flying in the face of God and man, not worrying about human form. If you told me a year ago that I'd be sculpting monster boobs for the internet, I'd say you were probably right and ask you to like, share, and subscribe. To speed things along and get this bodacious body into the oven, I started attacking it with my homemade texture stamps. Whenever I mix up too much epoxy clay or milliput or anything, I try to always make a tool out of it. You never know when it's going to come in handy, and it makes you feel like a professional who actually knows what they're doing, and not totally making this up as they go along. From there I could finish up all the little details, including adding some barnacles and battle damage before giving my baby an isopropyl bath and finally throwing it into the oven. So when things went so quickly the first night while doing the body, I kind of rushed into doing the head. All you need to know is that it was way too big the first time around. Anyway, after a sleep and some fresh go-go juice, Monster Head 2 Electric Boogaloo was on. For smaller fiddly bits, I try to use milliput and steel wire, and luckily at this point, a back order of epoxy sculpt finally showed up, which gave me an opportunity to try out some fun new stuff. It took a few attempts to get it right, but once I picked it up, it's fairly intuitive. After performing a quick trepanation into the backside of the monster, I slowly chipped away at all the little troublemakers, until it was finally time to paint. My painting process, much like my strict study of human anatomy, is chaos at best. So while I struggle to get this painted, let me tell you about my inspiration for this creature. Starting off with the amphibious fish leggy from Raquel and the tropical outfit from Zan, I knew that I wanted to take this into an underwater sort of theme. 
From there, I decided to loosely interpret Danny's obviously hairy gorilla foot as a vestigial fishtail. Putting eyes on this thing was a no-brainer thanks to the amazing eye card that I pulled from Erica. And my last two cards were both from Trent. The virus spore thingy was the photophore for the head, and the stripy lines turned into squiggly worm tongues coming out of the mouth. This project was really different for me in lots of ways, in the inspiration for the creature, the, the paint scheme, but even just the process itself. Having a group of people that inspire you and push you to do more, it's just so different and so much more rewarding than hiding away in the dark and building things that may never see the light of day. Not to mention, I got some really good news in the middle of crafting one day, and this is going to be a very memorable project for me. <laughs> Anyway, I'm supposed to be teaching you how to make a monster. So, step five, get back together and compare your work. Try to contain yourself as you marvel at the amazing work that your friends made. Take a moment to process the sheer amount of creativity and inspiration flowing from this group of people. And most importantly, be thankful that we live in a time where strangers online can connect and create and become friends through a shared love of monsters. I can't thank Raquel, Luke, Bill, and Trent enough for coming up with this idea and inviting me to participate for round two. Getting to hang out with Studson, Danny, Lila, Zan, Eric, Frankie, Elisa, and Jazza was honestly so amazing. If you haven't seen the other videos yet from the rest of the team, there's a playlist in the description and you really should go watch them all. Each and every person that contributed to this round is insanely talented and honestly just really nice people, so if you aren't already, you should go give them a follow. I hope you enjoyed this project and you stick around for more of my work in the future. If you decide to make your own Monster Bash, be sure to tag us on Instagram or Twitter and use the hashtag Monster Bash so we can find your work. Thanks for coming to hang out. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye. I don't know why I'm yelling. This is a, <laughs> there's just Calm so many people. <laughs> Trent's gonna feel the heart of the cards, baby. I printed out five fedoras and put them in my bag. So. I was I was running into same issues trying to mix mine up, so I just I just threw mine in the dryer. It gave him like a, a really good spin. <laughs> I don't want to have the paper monster. <laughs> my phone, my watch is telling me I'm, my workout is finished. Your workout is just beginning. <laughs>